Okay, so during one of my video where I was actually cycling to the uh, sky lane at the um, airport, near the airport. Okay, so one guy, very nice guy, you know, he actually asked me, you know, I'm called anyhow run man, but why am I not running? Okay, it doesn't make any sense, right? So he was just jokingly making that, that comment. So a little bit of history, all right? I'm a Singaporean and also a Chinese. My mom, who received, you know, very little education, back then, she's really not good in uh, English. So, when I was younger, I've been the only child, I always like to go out, right, find friends. And when I was about to go out, I was always rushing, you know, because I'm so excited. And my mom will always say in Mandarin, ah boy, you know, so one run pao. To translate into English is like, anyhow run. So it's not really about running, but it's like rushing to them is that, you know, what's more pao sushi? Why are you going out? You know, but they use the word pao, which translates into run. Okay, so I can't really stay at home, so I like to anyhow run. So that's the meaning of anyhow run. So I travel quite a fair bit and also, you know, like to explore the city by foot, by running, without any objective. I don't know where I want to go. I just turn anywhere that I like it, you know, take lots of photos. And that's how the hashtag Anyhow Run Man came along, right? Back in probably 2017, okay? And the hashtag was more often used, you know, after the, um, the pandemic, okay, or during the pandemic, okay, 2020, where we have a lot of virtual races, where there's no designated route. You basically just cover the seat distance and you get a virtual cert or even a medal. Okay, so during the time, just anyhow run, okay, and complete the distance and well, I think it's kind of enjoying and yeah, this is how anyhow run man came about.